guys, Bdoc6655 here, and I'm back from another meta video. So today, uh, I'm going to be doing something that my friends have asked me about and other people have asked me about, and I'm going to do it. So today, I'm going to be talking about the se oops, that's not sets. The sets to be to that you guys want to complete, and the sets that you guys don't want to complete. And I'll tell you why for each one. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can con you can contact me on my Facebook or Twitter or whatever, comment, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, actually hop in right into this one. So, um, based on this recommended thing right here, which is obviously going to be different every single time you go into sets. Now, I'll tell you right now that these two sets, this uh, gold player trading and silver player trading, are gold. If you, ha if you have players that you can just put into sets that... You just want to stick in the sets, you get trophies. Now, as you can see, I did not put in Cordero Patterson. He's an 80+, plus, which means he'll sell for 4K most of the time. You want to put in your 79 or below gold players in the in the gold player trading set. And silver pl tra player trading, you can put in anywhere. and You can put anyone in, and same with bronze. So those are three sets that I like the most. You can get free trophies if you don't. I don't suggest doing um, large quick sells, so I suggest just selling your trophies, in which I sell my gold trophies for 5k, my silver trophies for 1.1k, and my bronze trophies for 200 coins. So, it all works out if you have a lot of trophies. So next, I would skip these uh, silver player, gold player, bronze player exchanges. They're not very good. They don't really give you anything. If you're that desperate to get that last gold player thing, just wait until you get one. There's no point in putting in your silver trophies. You can put them in the six trophy set, and you can get better, more coins than you could have gotten with the ten. If you know what I'm saying. Now, my favorites are just in here: daily warm up, game plan, two great ones in the live events. All you gotta do is play a live event. Who wouldn't want to play a freaking live event? I know. I I want to play a live events every single day. That's the first thing I do. I go into daily warm up and scrimmage, get those collectibles. Same thing over here. You can you can put in the game changer, the free agent, the veteran upgrades, and as you can see over here, if I go back to live events, game changer is out right now. So you guys want to always do those game changers, waste all your stamina on it. And there's also today there's also fuel up, which means you can refill your stamina and, and then you can do it again, so you can waste more of your stamina trying to get those good game changer players. So back to the sets, we were in events. Uh, league versus league. If you guys have a league, always just go into your tournaments. Always play those tournaments. Good collectibles. You have a chance of getting those. You get the league master for the Odell set, and you also have a chance of getting the league versus league players. I've only gotten one. I got the Drew Brees quarterback, and I've also gotten the lead out of that. I got the 89 overall Des Bryant, both of which I sold because they weren't very good. But it's cool to get those players. Like you open a pack, you get a cool player. Then it's it's fun to use. I loved using that Drew Brees, but eventually it came time to sell him because he was only in 86. Anyway, next next one's the Road to the Ring. This is literally guaranteeing you a free elite, once again, by doing a live event. People think live events are boring, but I personally like doing these little challenges like run through the obstacle course or stay in the zone. Those are just kind of fun to me, little mini challenges besides doing head-to-head -head and league and season because those get kind of boring sometimes, so I just go over the live events and see what's up. Now, you can put them in the set. As you can see, I'm trying to get the Richard Sherman because he is the most expensive. Once I do not need him, I will sell him, obviously. He is the most expensive on the market right now. So if you guys want to do any of these ring players, I suggest doing Richard Sherman because he's the most expensive. If you don't need him, you can sell him. Next, Domination. I don't really do it that much, so I don't really know how to... I don't really have an opinion on it. I just know that the uh, Domination player is... Amazing. Gronk, obviously. He's got 93 speed, 99 acceleration, 92 strength, 99 catch. He's got okay blocking stats for a tight end. Obviously for Gronk, that's pretty good because tight ends don't really usually have uh, good blocking stats. Let's go on to... Anyway, let's go on to upgrades. Any Everything here, I would avoid doing. Unless you have the trophies. The only one I suggest doing is... Trophy Master Deion Sanders, because that card's amazing. If you want to see his stats, um, 100-man coverage, come on, 98 zone cover. What was the EA thinking? Oh, let's just have let's just have that one cornerback or that one player that's going to have amazing stats besides Bo Jackson. Hmm, make it Deion Sanders. 
good idea. I would save up, never buy those trophies unless you have about 7 million coins or something, and you can just waste some elite trophies to get that. Large quicksaw, I avoid as much as possible. I have completed it sometimes. I've completed it once. I'm sorry, I've completed it once. Oh my gosh. I don't remember what I got, but not good. The uh, trophy exchange, I do not suggest doing, because once again, you can sell... Like, let's say you have uh, five. Uh, let's say you have five silver trophies. You want to get a gold trophy. You can sell all those silver trophies for 1.1k, and you'll get 5.5k. Instead, if you put those in the set and got the gold trophy, then you can get the. You can only get 5k for selling the gold trophy. The only one I suggest doing is the elite trophy. Or actually, no, I do not suggest doing the elite trophy. I'm sorry. Um, you can get 25k off of the gold trophies compared to 8k. So, and same thing with the bronze. Actually, it doesn't really matter for bronze. Um, these sets I really consider doing. I've only done a couple. Oh, what do I have to do? Oh, I have some more of these. One second, guys. Uh, anyway, I really suggest doing these. Um, they're, a lot of, they're a lot of fun to put in and have that cool player. I've finished the Teddy Bridgewater set and the Eddie Lacy set, both of which were very cheap cards I did not like. But it was fun to complete the set. Anyway, Ryan Shazier I do suggest getting if you guys have enough players for the set if you want to complete the set or you want to just buy them because 94 speed 92 acceleration 94 pursuit just imagine this for me you're playing in head to head you see you're running down the field you caught a pass you're running down the sidelines you see this big man running tracking you down you will hide in fear that is scary to see a big man coming after you and about to catch you because right she's here is fast and he's big, so I do suggest getting this card. I don't have this card, but I do want to get him. So yeah, uh, signature road signs. I I stay off of the road sign upgrade, but if you guys want to do the signature road sign set, go ahead and do it. I don't personally do them. I have not done it yet. I do want to do it. Those cards are so cool. Besides the ninety threes and maybe the Le'Veon Bell, those cards are amazing. Next, I already told you about the player trade-ins and player exchange. These you can only get in packs, so if you get any of these, automatically do it. You can't sell them, so. Yeah, Madden Mobile Rewards, you get it by uh, spending money in the game. I don't know how much, approximately, but you do uh, progress once you spend more money. And, obviously, as you can see, you can get pro status, and that means you can have access to exclusive live events, as it says in here. Messaging, I don't know messaging to who, but messaging ooh fancy and you can get rewards so i mean it's pretty cool i don't i wouldn't spend money on this game i ha i've in the two years i've spent playing madden i've only spent ten dollars that was just so i could have some money cash to uh do play with my friends in the beginning of madden because it was a lot of fun doing it with my friends and back then i don't know packs just had more luck of getting elites so i opened packs with the money uh anyway next um, these players are, some of them are good, some of them are bad. Obviously, the, the uh, Tom Brady's pretty cool. Uh, the teams I wouldn't, uh, want to do, because you only get a gold player. Some of these are good. Colin Kaepernick is one of my favorites. Um, I don't know who the best are, because I haven't completed any of them. I just buy them. And then the Legends, obviously, if you can complete them, then, then go ahead and do it, because this is the best card in the game right now, I think. Uh, shout out to Charles Woodson. You had a great career, bro. Uh, just kind of saying, Luke, going a little off topic, but you had a great career. Uh, thanks for being in the NFL because you're one of the best. Anyway, it's it's good that he deserved a legend card. He definitely did deserve a legend card. But anyway, any of these are really really cool, except for the really old ones. But I've heard a lot about some of these guys and how good they are. Um, let's go into seasonal. And these uh, you just get from live events, so that's not really much to say here. So that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. <laughs>